Okay, so here's the next example problem we'll do. Find the exact value of cosine 135, draw 135 and stand position. So, we're going to follow these three steps in order to do that and it's actually good to draw 135 in standard position. That's going to tell us which reference angle formula that we're going to do. So first, we're going to draw 135 in standard position. 135 would be between 90 and 180. So right here, that's going to be our angle 135 degrees. So that's the first step. Because you're in the second quadrant, that's going to tell us what reference angle formula to use. So if I want to find the exact value of cosine 135, I have to follow these three steps. The first step would be to find the reference angle. We're in the second quadrant. The reference angle formula would be 180 minus theta, which in this case is going to be 135. So 180 minus 135, that's going to give us 45 degrees, that's our reference angle. Now we're going to do step two, apply the trig function to the reference angle. Okay, the trig function for this problem is again going to be cosine that was originally given to us. So I'm going to put cosine here and then I'm going to do cosine 45. Cosine 45 is now a value I can grab off of my table. Here's 45, I go over the cosine. That's the value of square root of 2 over 2. So I know that this is equal to root 2 over 2. Finally, step three is where I get the answer to the whole problem. I want to find out what the value for cosine of, we're going to use the original angle here, 135. So cosine 135 is what I want to find the value of now. Now, it's going to have the same numerical value as what we got in step number two, except that three, you have to apply the appropriate sign. We're in the second quadrant, all students means again, sign is positive in the first quadrant. That means everything else is going to be negative. So I need to apply a negative sign to my answer. So I'm going to take the value of square root of 2 over 2, but I'm going to apply a negative, so I'm going to get this. So negative root 2 over 2 would be my final answer. That is the exact value. So if I were to put cosine 135 in my calculator, my calculator is set in degree mode, you should get the same decimal equivalent as this, negative square root of 2 over 2. Okay, next example, find the exact value of sine 4 pi over 3. Draw 4 pi over 3 in standard position. So this time we have a radian measurement. So if you don't want to deal with the radian measurement, you don't have to. You can change the radian measurement into degrees. So we'll do that first. 4 pi over 3 times 180 over pi. Pi's cancel out there. 3 goes to 180 60 times. This is going to give you 240 degrees. So 240 is our original angle that we have inside. We want to draw 240, so that's the same equivalent as 4 pi over 3, we want to draw that in standard position. So 240, that's between 180 and 270. So that means that that's going to be drawn down here. So this going around there, that was my original. I'm going to use 4 pi over 3 since that's how it was originally given. That's going to be drawn down there. This time we're in the third quadrant. We're going to follow the three steps to find the exact value. Step number one find the reference angle. You're in the third quadrant. The reference angle formula there is going to be, uh, since we're going to deal with degrees, we have 240, I'll use that. The formula is theta minus 180. So my reference angle, since we're in the third quadrant, is going to be theta, which is 240, minus 180. So the reference angle is going to be equal to 240 minus 180, that's 60. So the reference angle is 60 degrees. Okay, so 60 degrees, uh, I can also write that, if I look at my table here, 60 degrees is the same as pi over 3, so sometimes you may have to write the answer at, in radian mode because the original problem was given in radian mode, so in case you do, you can always change it back over either by using the table or again the formula multiplying by pi over 180. So that's, that's the reference angle. Number two, we want to apply the trig function to the reference angle. The trig function in this problem is a sine. So we're going to do sine of, now we can either use 60 or pi or 3, it doesn't matter because we have both of them on our table. If I just use the degree measurement, sine 60. 60 is here, we go over to the sine column and that gives us the value of square root of 3 over 2. So I can go ahead and put that in there. That sine 60 is automatically equal to square root of 3 over 2. 
But that's not going to be the answer to the whole problem because step three means I need to apply the appropriate sign. I'm in the third quadrant, so all students take. That means a T represents tangent, everything else is going to be negative, so that means that your sign has to be negative in the third quadrant. So I need to apply the appropriate sign. So sine of uh, 4 pi over 3 is going to equal negative square root of 3 over 2. It's going to have the same numerical value as step 2 here because I got it from the table, but I have to apply the appropriate sign because the angle is down here and in that angle, if you look at our sign chart, sine is supposed to be negative down there in the third quadrant. So your final answer is going to be negative square root of 3 over 2. Okay, next example. Find the exact value of cosine 330 and we want to draw 330 in stand position. Okay, so 330, that's an angle between uh, 270 and 360, which means that 330 is going to be drawn down here. So here is going to be our angle for 330. That completes the first part. Now to find the exact value, again, we're going to follow these same three steps we were doing before. Step number one, find the reference angle. Okay, you're in the fourth quadrant. If you're in the fourth quadrant, the formula you use for reference angle is 360 minus theta. So we're going to do the RA reference angle is going to equal 360 minus 330. 360 minus 330, and then we uh, subtract those. We get our reference angle is going to be equal to 30 degrees. Okay, so we have step number one complete. Now number two says apply the trig function to the reference angle. The trig function in this case is cosine. So we have a cosine that we're going to put uh, in front of the 30 degrees. So number two, we're applying the trig function, cosine, to the reference angle, 30. So we're going to do cosine 30. That value we can get off this table we have here. 30 degrees is here. We go over to cosine. That value is square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so that means that we get square root of 3 over 2 as the exact value there. For step number three, we need to apply the appropriate sign. We're in the fourth quadrant. We're going to use all students take calculus. The C in calculus represents cosine, which means that cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant. So that means I don't have to make a sign adjustment this time. I'm going to write out, I have cosine of the original one was 330 and that's going to equal square root of 3 over 2. I don't need to make a sign adjustment here because cosine is okay to be positive in the fourth quadrant. So my final answer for cosine 330 would be square root of 3 over 2.